Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Compline for August the 16th, 2023. We're glad you're here with us, and we hope you've had a most successful and enjoyable day. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. Our appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 91, which we will read with joined voices. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your right side, and a ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Into your hands I commend my spirit, O Lord, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. 
Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now bring our own needs, intentions, and intercessions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, his guidance, and in many cases, his forgiveness. Dear Lord, let us pray for those who are dealing with addiction, any kind of addiction, and those who care for them. Lord, it is a hard and rocky path sometimes back to wellness for all involved and all who are affected. So let us lift up these sisters and brothers in prayer and those who care for them, those who counsel them, those who may pass them on the street and smile and turn their day around. Dear Lord, let us always be mindful that we are one human family bound to one another by your love and your mercy. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Compline. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. God bless you, and we will see you tomorrow.